Alan Wake, PC, short video game review. Alan Wake is a novelist. He writes crime stories and he's experiencing a bit of a writer's block. He hasn't been able to write for a couple of years and when he and his wife Alice go to a vacation on, in, in a small town called Bright Falls in Washington, Alice disappears and Alan starts finding manuscript pages from Departure, a novel he was going to write but never did. And what's in these pages seems to be coming true. And at the same time he is attacked by these possessed townsfolk called The Taken. Now, this game makes great use of it actually it introduces and makes great use of the mechanic of having to shine a light at the enemies, the Taken, before you can kill them with bullets. And this means that they can easily surround you while you're focusing on one. And whenever there's light, like if you find a 500 watt working lamp, or, a, you know, you might have to turn on the generator to get a lamp working, that will help you fight them. You can also use flares to keep them back and flashbangs to easily kill them. And these are, of course, less, you know, not necessarily easy to come by. And the flashlight you will also need to manually reload with batteries. And the stronger a flashlight you find, the more batteries it takes to fill it up. And it'll also recharge when you're not using it. Or not use not focus using it. And the flashlight beam also works as your crosshair, so you can't be focus aiming without spending battery from the, the light. And the the plot is very tightly written here. This is episodic with six episodes coming to a total of nine and a half hours and there are two DLC chapters as well. I believe they just come for free with the PC version. I wouldn't necessarily pay a lot for them if not. They amount to two hours and don't really further the story that much. Now the with the episodic nature, each episode has its own focus and is very tight in forwarding plot, introducing new characters and developing them, and just keeping things moving. It's a mystery that brings up a lot of questions and throws you for a loop, but also actually reveals what's going on. The very ending is not that satisfying, but it's, you know, when whenever a story has been built and built up so much along the way, it's difficult to give a proper resolution, and certainly it is a fun ride from start to finish. It evokes the feeling of a television show, a book, and a movie in addition to a game, and the gameplay, because of the interplay between using light and using regular bullets, and a, a fairly limited ammo capacity, and yeah, different times you'll find more flares or flashbangs, you have to properly balance what you're using to make sure to, you know, to take out the enemies, and this staves off monotony quite well. Although, if you aren't gripped by the story and atmosphere, the game is not for you. It's a very subtle take on possession, supernatural kind of thing, with a few exceptions, including poltergeists and taunts where the pitch shifts back and forth and they're just saying normal things. But, yeah, it's definitely worth playing if you, if you can live with it being linear and you enjoy a gripping horror story. If you like this review and one more detailed one, the link will be in the description box. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.